there is a will, there is a possibility to roll around. Six years ago, I was in prison. My life is full of darkness. I'm totally dependent on others. But now I'm changed. This is the change that I want to see in every wheelchair user. September 30, 2005. It was a normal day for me. I wake up. I ask money to my mother to fill petrol in my bike. The way to the pump, I drop my brother in the bus stop. The way back to my home, an auto rickshaw came from the wrong side and hit me on my right shoulder. I lost my conscience. I wake up after two days. At that time, I was in the hospital. In this accident, my spinal cord was injured and I'm confined to bed. I can't be able to move without the help of a wheelchair. My life has changed. I was in the hospital for six months. After I came back to my home, the things were changed. Before my accident, I was running in my home, jumping, playing, dancing. But now, it is not possible by me to sit on my bed without two people's help. I think my life ends inside the four walls of my home. After I discharged from the hospital, I can't get any rehabilitation. I took two years to adjust with my current situation. My life has changed, but my personality, my character doesn't change. I ask myself, why it's happened to me? Why? It is because of the careless drive of the driver pushed my life into darkness. And also in the newspaper, they report at least one death case every day due to the road accident. I think I have to do something for this. So I wrote a book about road safety and I published it with the help of Yusura publication. This is the book that I wrote. For. And after that, after that, I, I worked with the motor vehicle department to conduct several awareness camps in my city to reduce road accident. My life has no change. I'm still, I'm thinking myself, my life has no change. I'm still in my wheelchair. I need at least two people's help while I'm traveling. Once I had an experience while I'm traveling through the public transport. The conductor was so rude to me. I don't know why he behaved so. He says that the public transport bus is not for the wheelchair user. I think maybe the public transport is belongs to him. That's why he says so. <laughs> and for me, getting into the bus and getting out of the bus is a big challenge because there is no RAM facilities available. And also there is no provision to lock my wheelchair inside the bus. If the authority is providing this facility to us, we can also lead a, we can also use the public transport very comfortably. The story is not different while I'm traveling through the public, public places. It is not accessible. But I'm happy about one thing. My friends are tired and they, are, they are find a searching, searching a seat to sit. At that time, I'm sitting comfortably with my attached chair. <laughs> like a king <laughs> and <laughs> and the society have an attitude a negative attitude towards the wheelchair user that the wheelchair users always depend on others these are not only my stories these are the stories of the people in my society before my accident i am not thinking about the problem of a disabled but now I am chosen for this. This is my time. I have to do something for this. My project, Freedom on Wheels, wanted to see a wheelchair-friendly India and to empower the wheelchair user, India-friendly. As a first step of my project, I am going to conduct a meeting in Trivandrum. From this meeting, I select 15 wheelchair users and divided them into three groups. And we trained them with daily living skills and self-confidence skills. And also, we work with the parents and the family members of the wheelchair user, changing their mindset that wheelchair user also can lead a dignified life in the society. After that, we conduct a rally from the south of the Kerala to the north. And the blinds were pushing the wheelchair users. <laughs> Sabri is going to push my wheelchair, isn't it, Sab? <laughs> yeah. And, and, we, and in this meeting, in this rally, we are conducting meeting in different cities of Kerala to sensitize the government 
what the problem faced by the wheelchair users in their day-to-day -day life. And also, we collect the signature of the wheelchair users across the, across the state. And, and to sensitize, to, to, to demand the government what the problem faced by the wheelchair user to build public places wheelchair friendly. The Freedom on Wheels wanted to see a society where the wheelchair user are traveling independently. After that, we conduct, we shoot the whole documentary, whole, whole, whole process from the beginning to the end, and we make it as a documentary. And to motivate the other wheelchair users in my country. For me, Kantari is a land of hope and opportunity. Why I say so? Because I still remember my first speech. I'm not telling that I'm the I'm not I'm not telling that I'm the best because I was struggling for the words. It is it is difficult for me because I was in, in my home for the last eight years to follow my dreams and my ideas. Kantari transformed me. Kantari taught me to dream. Big big dream. A dream that lead a person to a better life. You can also dream. Meet this is one of my dream. Meet my girlfriend, Jasmine Isaac. She is also a wheelchair user. Once I introduced her to my mother and I told her I wish to marry her. My mother asked me, have you ever seen a wheelchair couple in Kerala? <laughs> is it possible you two can lead a normal life like others? I asked her, why not? What happened if you became the first wheelchair couple? I want to see wheelchair user traveling independently. I want to see a wheelchair user doing the, his daily routine independently. I want to see a big change in the society. Let the change begins from us. Thank you.